cornerback joins us now, Jordan Moore, Sean Cody, Max Brown, uh, Sierra. Welcome to uh, Trojans Live. Good to have you. I got to talk to you a little bit uh, after the game, and, and, and you, you, you took us through your first interception. But, you know, this is a group uh, that's leading the nation in interceptions right now. What kind of pride do you take in that uh, as a whole defense, and in particular in that defensive back room? Uh, well, first, I want to say thank you guys for having me on here. Um, it's really cool. But, um, Honestly, I just think it's it's amazing to see what we're doing as a defense. You know, we've been practicing really hard for, shoot, nine months now. Um, and just being able to see how we've been able to come together as a collective and, um, you know, just apply the, the principles that we've been learning is, is, is great to see. So. Sierra, congratulations on uh, your interception. It was amazing. Come on, man. The return, though, man. I need some more on the return, man. Let's go. Get it going, man. I, I know the I guys know. are giving you stuff about that, man. Come no, on. Everybody's been talking about how. <laughs> no, it was crazy, like. I haven't ran with the ball in my hand in a minute, you yeah. know. So I was like, once I get once I get another pick, I'm I'm taking right. it back. Trust me. But I was I was just trying to read my blocks and not fumble. So. Okay. But it's All right, cool. man. I saw him. I was like, man, come on, Sierra, take it to the. Oh no. no I couldn't it. tell whether one of our guys tripped you in the end or one of their guys tripped you in the end. Hey, well, it, you know, blame somebody else. That's what <laughs> yeah, I would do. Else hey, blame the blockers, man. It was you the know, blockers. It was somebody tripped me. I'm not gonna say who it was, <laughs> Jalen Smith. But um, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you, you mentioned you hadn't run with the ball in a long time. At what point in your football journey does it turn from, I'm sure you played receiver, running back growing up, to like, you know what, well, everyone else is playing receiver and running back, and like that's the, the sexy position, so to speak. Yeah. I'm going to switch over to corner and be locked down and make my money that way. What was the, when was the switch uh, in, in your journey there? I mean, I think I've always wanted to be a corner. Like, my dad played corner, so that, that was kind of always planned out for me. Like, I've always done, whenever I'm doing extra workouts, like I'm practicing as a DB. So it was always really like being on the defense for me. But once I got to college, like that's when you, you're not playing both ways anymore, you know. But when you're in high school, like you get the chance to play both sides of the ball the whole game. But once I got to college, like that's when it's really shut down. But I've always been um, practicing as a DB, so. You're listening to Sierra right on Trojans Live. And Sierra, you were one of the stories of camp because you really had to earn your role. I mean, that seemed like a pretty open competition. Even going into the year, it seemed like a pretty 50-50 split over there. And, you know, Damani's coming back now. You've had to really hold it down. What was that process like for you? How, how have you uh, carved out this big spot on the team? Um, I mean, I just say, like, I knew coming into the season with all the DBs that were leaving that it was going to be a big competition. You know, we had people coming in from the transfer portal um, and, you know, people that were already here that were competing for the spot. And so it was really just working hard, doing the extra work as much as I can, you know, and just trusting myself and trusting my coaches. That's all it took. Sierra, you know, the game kind of broke out funny. You know, the, these past couple games offensively have just been rolling, right? And you guys probably get that little cushion on defense. You're feeling good. Oh, we got a little cushion here. We can, yeah. we can play our style defense. When did you guys realize that, oh, man, offense isn't – they're trying to figure out some things today. We might have to take this one home. When did you guys – when was the moment in the game where you're like, all right, let's do this? I mean, it was it was from the first kickoff, honestly. Like, we always come with the same attitude. There's never really – we're never really worried about the score, whether we're up by a lot or, or we're down. You know, it's, it's we're playing the same way the, the entire time. Like, we talk about straining all the time. So that's really what the mindset is 24-7 whenever we're on the field. So it didn't really – I wouldn't say there was a specific moment, really. It was once the ball got kicked off. Piggybacking off of Jordan's question, I remember – I got a new head coach here after my true freshman year, and that's kind of the year where you're supposed to earn your stripes, right? And then when yeah. you get a new head coach, you got to redo it again. You had it where you got to re-earn those stripes. It's uh, maybe you cross paths with Lincoln in the high school recruiting ranks, but then they have portal guys coming in. What was the mindset there? What was your approach to this offseason that allowed you to have so much success so far this season? Um, yeah, like I was saying, really just, you know, just trying to be a pro, honestly, term, in terms of like doing extra work, finding myself in the facility as much as I can, doing recovery and things like that. And really just, you know, um, learn, learning from the people around me. Like Makai is somebody that I'd say is definitely somebody that I've been able to learn from. You know, he has a lot more experience than I do, and um, he's a great player. So just, you know, being able to see what he does and um, apply that to myself as much as I can. Talking to Sierra right here on Trojans Live. And Sierra, I think pe most people know you are a multi-talented guy. Uh, they might have seen you in Space Jam, and uh, you've carved out a TV role for yourself. How did you get into the acting game? I've been acting for a while now. I mean, I think I started when I was like seven or eight. So it started with like just like commercials and things like that, and then like little guest roles in TV, and then I um, started working in movies, and now I'm working on a TV show. So it's really just been like a, a progressive build for me. So would you rather win a Super Bowl or an Oscar? I'd rather win a Super Bowl. Okay, oh, there we man. go. You look like you've been asked that question before. Uh, it's, it's, it's a frequent <laughs> one, you know. <laughs> Sierra, when in the game, I, you know, I was thinking about this because you know this defense 
struggled in in a few couple games, and and it was trying to find itself. And then you have a defense like this. What can this defense be moving forward? You think what's your guys' ultimate goal as a defense? You guys want to be a Smash Mouth team. What what's the what's the goal of this defense? I mean, the goal is to be the best defense in the country. I think that's 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 what the goal was at the beginning, and I think that's what the goal is going to stay. Um, obviously, we talk about turnovers as much as we can. That's that's one thing that we feel um, like getting takeaways will, will lead to victory. So that's one thing we definitely preach um, day in and day out. So you know, as, as long as we can continue to um, do what we do what we can in terms of straining, running to the ball, I feel like we'll be able to, um, the sky's the limit for us. What was the coolest part about working with LeBron? I'm a big LeBron guy. <laughs> coolest uh, part? I think, honestly, just how down to earth he is, to be honest. Like, he's just a really cool, humble guy. Like, he's 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 a really, it's, it's, it's really fun working with him. Like, you think he'd be super serious, but he's really just out there playing around like like he was one of us. So it was it was fun to work with him. It's awesome. Did you shoot hoops with him? Yeah, you know, we played a little bit of one on one. You know, I won. You know, pretty <laughs> Nobody What's the that. approach? How does that approach happen? <laughs> your your D B press coverage versus man on man. No, I, I I feel like I'm a great defensive player on in basketball. You know, I like I There's I, gotta be some comparables. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm guarding a receiver, like I'm impressed. Same thing as <laughs> I'm playing against somebody, it's different when he's six. That's, that's a big receiver. Say, that's a big receiver. The high weight there. <laughs> yeah, the high weight is a little bit of a <laughs> an issue, but I mean I think I think I've done a, a, a good job when it came to the one on ones. Well you did a heck of a job on Saturday. Let's see here, right? His career just getting started. It's gonna be fun to watch uh, both on the screen uh, and on the gridiron here at USC. So appreciate you joining.